Hey guys, it's Backstar here doing a review for you guys today on the SG556 Camo. Um, this gun is really, really, really underused, and that's obviously uh, due to the fact that it's an NX Rare, partly, but also due to the fact that a lot of people don't really know about it. Um, the SG556, the NX standard, is actually also a really, really, really good gun. The biggest uh, con to the SG556 standard, which I have already reviewed, is its uh, 20 round magazine, which is really frustrating and it's really slow reload once you put in a, an extended mag in it. So the SG556 camo has everything the SG556 does except um, a bigger magazine, which is really, really, really important. And so I have an extended mag 1 in this for uh, this review and it just makes the gun a whole lot better and the SG556 is actually in my opinion one of the greatest guns in the game um, it's very underused mainly because of uh, its small magazine uh, capacity usually not the camel but the other ones and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> actually I don't know why people don't use it uh, as often as they should um, the only the other bad thing about the gun actually is its ability to kill at close quarters which isn't necessarily bad it's just for some reason more difficult I find than other guns uh, probably because it has a, a not a very good spread not probably I know it for a fact it doesn't have a very good spread because I've used the SG556 and 550s for ever since I've been since I started playing the game so I know what they feel like um, so it's not that great at close quarters combat, but from medium to long ranges, this gun just dominates, and it literally has like zero recoil. Uh, the funny thing about the SG556 is it has a 62-point uh, recoil. Yeah, it does have a 62-point recoil actually, um, which is the same as the uh, CX4 Storm, but in reality when you use the gun it's a lot lower than the CX4 Storm and the CX4 Storm has basically no recoil but I mean if you put an iTech or HCS4 reflex sight on this gun it literally will not move from wherever you point it for about 10 rounds and even then you can just slightly move it down and then it'll start going horizontal a little bit so I mean it's really really awesome it's such a great gun for medium to long ranges uh, it's super easy to tap fire and it's very 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 good um, very underused um, so I'm gonna read you off the stats here and I'm gonna compare it to the regular SG550 the GP standard and also the SG556 NX standard because there's uh, some differences I want to point out so the GP standard the SG550 has a 35 point damage and the SG556 and the SG556 camo have a 36 point damage, so one point better. Not that big of a deal, but it actually makes a difference in killing uh, your enemies faster, I've noticed, and it definitely makes a difference. Um, the, the 550 is really weak, with the 556, even that one point of damage seems to just change it from a 5 hit kill to a 4 hit kill. It's an extremely weak 4 hit kill, but it's still 4 hits, so that's good. Um, the SG550 GP standard has a 55 point portability which is extremely slow. Uh, extremely slow for an assault rifle. I could very well be the slowest assault rifle in the game. I have no idea but it's definitely really close and the SG556 camel has a 62 point portability. That's seven points better. It's much 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 faster. As a 74 point rate of fire, both the 550 and the 556 and the camo, 556 camo. Now here are the two really, 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 really large differences, and I'm actually not sure if this is uh, a mistake by Nexon, like a typo or not, because the SG550 camo has a similar uh, stat um, discrepancy. So, the SG550, the GP standard, has a 90 point accuracy, which is just as high as the G36E, so it's extremely accurate. Uh, the SG556 NX standard has a 90 point accuracy as well, but the SG556 camo, 
according to Nexon's uh, arsenal, has an 80 point recoil, or 80 point accuracy, sorry, which is 10 points worse. And that's definitely got to be wrong, because an 80 point accuracy is like the M4A1, uh, M416, and this gun is definitely more accurate than it, because I've been using it, and I can feel it's not the same. Because you can hit really far away with it, and it's accurate, just like a G36. And by the way, I usually like ACOG scopes better than the HDS4 Reflex. I just used it because he had it, and I thought it was pretty cool. I don't use it very often, so I just thought I might as well. And I, sorry, just getting off topic a little, a little bit quickly. I play two games. I play uh, like half of a two towers game and like half of a short fuse game, just to give you guys two different. Uh, perspectives. I, I do much better in the Two Towers game, I think, anyway. I don't do very well in the Short Fuse game, but anyway, right, so this has an 80-point 80, 80 accuracy, which is really weird to me, um, because it doesn't feel that way at all. It feels much, 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 much more accurate. It feels like a 90. It feels like a G36E. But anyway, um, yeah, so the 550 GP standard has a 90-point accuracy. The 556 NX standard has a 90-point accuracy. But the but the SG five fifty six camo is an eighty point accuracy, which is ten worse. I I just can't get, wrap my mind around that why they would do that. So I'm pretty sure it's got to be a typo or of some kind. But the only weird thing is that the SG five fifty camo, the GP rare, uh, the GP rare has an eighty five point accuracy, which is different than all th all three of the other ones. So I don't really understand that at all. Um, I guess maybe the camo variants have lower accuracies than the other ones to compensate for the larger magazines because the SG550 camo, uh, the GP Rare, uh, also has a bigger magazine, but it still has, uh, but it's still weak, just as weak as the uh, 550. But anyway, so the SG556 is a really great gun, and uh, it does have actually lower recoil than the GP Standard 550. The SG550 has a 63-point recoil, and the 556 Camel has a 62-point recoil, so it's even lower. Um, and I'm very serious when I say that this gun has zero recoil, and I'm very, I'm like, I'm being literal with that. If you can't kill someone in full auto with this gun while scoped in before it starts deviating from its path, then <laughs> you need to practice playing the game, because <laughs> this gun has zero recoil, quite literally. Uh, one of the best guns in the game, totally underused. I don't know why. Even the SG556, even though it has a small magazine and a long reload, it's really, really, really great. So anyways, guys, this review is coming to an end. I did have shoutouts. I was going to put it in this review, but I've haven't. I've just waited too long to do the shoutouts, and now they've become uh, way too long. So I'm actually going to upload those separately in another video all on its own just for shoutouts because they're actually about four minutes long, which is kind of kind of funny. So if you guys want to sit for that, you can. Uh, shoutouts is a little is a little time consuming, and I don't really like doing them all the time, uh, which is why I said previously I didn't want to shout out to uh, respawn tokens anymore because it's just a waste of bandwidth and a waste of time and everything like that. But I ended up doing it anyway because I felt bad. And uh, I've got one final clip here. It's just, uh, somewhere in the middle of that uh, short fuse game, I get two headshots. Just show you the recoil. Like, that's full auto right there. It doesn't even move. But uh hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time.